Hello, my name's Denise and welcome to FTTV. Today we're talking about reflection. But I don't mean my reflection, I mean self-reflection. And this is where we look at ourselves and we reflect on the gifts and the talents that we have. I've got some friends at the Family Trust and they um, are going to talk about themselves and they're also going to tell us what they're good at as well. Let's have a look. One thing I'm good at is singing. I'm good at playing the piano and I'm good at making scones, especially cheese scones. I'm good at doing crochet and I'm good at cooking. I like coming up with new recipes. Some good qualities about myself are that I'm friendly and we can have a laugh with people and I like to get on with everyone. I think I'm a good listener and um, I like to be friendly and cheerful. I'm patient, I'm kind and I'm a good team player. Wow, aren't they amazing? And you're amazing too. Yes, you. You're unique. You've all got different gifts and skills and talents. There's a passage in the Bible and that tells us about how people are important and they have something to play in the world. We've got Mr Potato Head and he's going to help explain that a little bit deeper. A body may look like one thing, but it is made up of many parts. And although there are many parts, they all make only one body. The foot could say, I'm not a hand, so I'm not part of the body. But saying this would not stop the foot from being a part of the body. The ear could say, I'm not an eye, so I'm not part of the body. But saying this would not make the ear stop being a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, the body would not be able to hear. If the whole body were an ear, the body would not be able to smell anything. But God put the parts in the body as he wanted them. He made a place for each one of them. And so there are many parts, but only one body. And our bodies are not divided. God wanted all the different parts to care the same for each other. If one part suffers, then all the other parts suffer with it. Everyone has an important part to play. Just like our bodies are made up of all different parts, our world and our communities are all full of different people in different places and we all make up our world. If everybody was a cleaner, then we'd have a really clean world and clean houses. But who would cook our food if we didn't have any chefs? Who would teach us to write if we didn't have any teachers? The world would be a really strange place. Have a think about what makes you unique. What things are you good at? What do you enjoy doing? You can share your skills and your talents with your friends, with your teachers, with people you know. As a Christian at the Family Trust, we believe that God helps us to be the best person that we can be. I'm just going to do a prayer now and if you would like to join in with a prayer, you can say Amen at the end. Dear God, thank you for our gifts and our talents. Help us to share these gifts and talents with others. Amen. Well, there's only one last thing to do now. And I bet you've been wondering, what's in the box? Should we have a look? Ah, it's a mirror. And that's to help us remember our assembly today about reflecting. <laughs> 